Hey guys, Altered State here. Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, The Frozen Wilds. Uh, we are... Alright, we're heading into the actual final mission. I thought the last episode was going to be the final mission. But it was the pre-final mission final mission. We had the whole, like, it'll be difficult to turn back thing. Um, but then we got here through the fire break. Don't care about the sparkers as much. It's the blaze I'm after. But yeah, the Forge of Winter. That is... the When I looked it up to see what missions I was missing, Forge of Winter was listed as the final mission. The one I did previously, Fire Break, wasn't even on the list, so... I guess it was just a pre-mission. <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand. But hopefully we can override demon creatures by doing this. Alberta can all right across the antechamber. I'm with you, brother. Okay. Where do we start? Go down this way. Stay here until I find a way for all of us to pass. Understood. That'll help a little bit. We're gonna have to fight like a demonic frost claw at the end of this. In order to get the power. Okay. Have to go over. Yes. But. Not the way do. The sun's coming out in real life, so it makes it really hard to see the dark parts in this game because of the whole HDR thing. And I know I can turn it off, but... I don't wanna. Can I climb this? Since they're yellow? Ow! Okay, what did you say? With an arrow? Really? Okay. This is a new mechanic I wasn't expecting. Oops, 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 I didn't time it right. <laughs> I I was trying to get just a little bit closer and uh, she went she just went straight for it. Okay, go 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 Yeah Now do we drop here? Is this right? Okay. Eh. All right. Um, see you guys later. Oh, I forgot the. She's in the air. Woo! I want. Ow! Okay. Drop it off here. Turn off the vents, eh? How does one do that? I also want. Looks like there's mushrooms up here. Just the forager at heart. Ah, my face itches. Damage geothermal stabilization. Stabilization. Wait for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You wait for me. Looks like I need to get across to extend the bridge. That's the I need to. I don't know. Okay. Think, ow! Whoops. <laughs> um, okay, this one doesn't look like we gotta rotate. Rotata. Oh. Nice. Nice. Okay. Okay. Oops. Good. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Here they come. Oh, them. I thought you meant the, the machines. Let me jump on this again. Nope. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh, there are machines here. 
Oh! Crab boys! I knocked it over. Okay. This fight won't be the last. Angel Child. Yes. Uh, somehow. Indeed. Okay. Let's just climb back up here and jump on the thing. I'll extend the bridge, and then you guys can come across. Easy peasy. Leap. Okay. Nice. Oh. Let's get them across. Can't see anything. Alright. Right this way, folks. Watch your step. Come on up. Come on over, it's safe. Look at these mushrooms floating in the air. Nice. Alright. Oh, that worked. This place looks more like the mountain used to be before the demon ruined it. I don't know. Activate the console. Exploit successful. Restraints abated. To what? any human responder, my systems have been compromised by a malware daemon of unknown origin. Malware daemon. Trace routes have confirmed this entity's designation as Hephaestus. Uh oh. It must be stopped at all costs. It has reconfigured this facility to build possible facility. Recapture imminent. I have attached additional data to their The spirit speaks to us. Hephaestus revealed. Hephaestus. But it was part of Sarah Dawn, part of God. Was. This name is familiar to you? Yes. Yes. The sounds are so loud I can barely hear what they're saying. Hold on, let's listen to uh, what this I person has said. just shutting it down, but I can't risk it being disoriented or even damaged on reboot. How do you tell the emotional equivalent of a child that it I go. I can't hear you, it's really loud in this cauldron. What's that? What is that? Oh, okay, they're attached to things. I was like, what kind of machine is this? This is a new thing. God, are those all frost claws? That's where the cauldron. I don't like that. That is too many of them. Too many machines being made. The scorcher. God damn it, I hate the scorchers. I hate them so much. That's oh, just a regular shell walker. I can make him my friend. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, there's a lot of things. Um uh whoopsies whoopsies let's find our approved forge fire no we want approved ice rail put it back up here still water for the scorch up oh wow rude jesus okay all right, I think there's multiple of them. Bunch of twos. Hate you so fucking much. Like seriously. I'd not even be mad if you killed me right now. Might even just let it happen so I can redo this. Stupid. No, 
Oh, maybe I'll... Oh, God. And there's another one. There's the other one. Rude. And you killed it, so I didn't even get the points for it. Uh. Uh. Thanks for the blaze. Oh, my health is real bad. Here, I'm using a bunch of those. Okay. I guess it could have been worse. Oh, I'm full on blaze again? Okay. Alright. Alright. But we need the blaze. We need it. Let's get rid of... Get rid of your scorcher lenses. I don't even care. Take the blaze. Alright, are we good? Are we good? <laughs> Kill the scorchers. Hey, mushrooms. Nice. Where did the shell walkers go? <laughs> did they just leave? Decide to dip out? Or did you guys kill them? And I didn't notice. Or oh, these ones just already dead. I'm asking so many questions that nobody Oh god can answer, Jesus. I need to get a ray and our talk across. Yes, obviously. Clearly. Potentially. Perhaps. Alright, at least things are dead now, so I can run around freely. Figure this out. Okay. Yes! What the fuck? Lots of gear across that gap. Lots of gear? I want lots of gear. What kind of gear, eh? Oh, really? And I just made the bridges? Oh, no, no, no. You don't like fire. Here, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's try the forge fire. I know we're trying to be stingy with our, our blaze, but... Uh, yeah, we'll do damage. And... Weapons... Proved forge fire. We'll do it. We'll do it instead of that. Why not? We're not using it anyway. Ow. Okay, crossbar. I froze it with my fire. Um. Excuse me. Wow, okay, I killed that one so quick. Are these ones already half damaged? Did I not even notice that? Uh, ow. Thank you. Uh, yep. Killed 10 frost claws. Nice. <laughs> I did not even notice. Ooh, purple. 51% handling. Another 51% handling. Okay, we need these things. Let's get rid of I saw a blue one. There it is. Get rid of that. Resist corruption. Yeah, I don't care. Um. 26% fire, another 26% fire. Yeah, just get rid of them all. 51% handling. Hell to the yes. 39% freeze. Not that great. And another corruption one that we just got rid of. Um, 
And I think that's it over here, but that, uh, surprisingly, went really well. Like, I didn't actually notice that their health was already down a little bit when I started attacking them. If it was, that helped a lot. Otherwise, the forge fire is real strong against those. Okay, we need... Wait. More! Okay. Slap! Slap! Why is it not working? It worked that one time. Door blockade by metamaterial instruments it can be destroyed with concerted effort. Ah. Please? Okay, maybe that's not where we're supposed to go right now. Hmm. That's confusing to my brain. No, there you go. Alright, I'm trying to help them. Maybe I can't destroy it until I get them over there, which... How? I gotta... Alright, alright, okay. Whoopsies, whoopsies. Hey, what's up here? Can I not climb up there? There's a thing right th there. Am I going backwards? Are you for cereal? Oh god. Oh god. Alright, ride the ride the little circle all the way around. La di da di da di da di da. Forgot I can make it go a little bit faster. Okay. Come in, guys. How did I not see this before? Okay. Can you guys get across to here now? Or are you just gonna wait there still? So I was. Oh God, no! <laughs> Uh oh! Uh oh, where does it put me? Oh no. <laughs> I didn't realize that was a gap. I should have because I totally jumped in that spot before and had to like correct myself to um, make sure I didn't fall off the edge. But I didn't do that this time because I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I hear my cat now. He wants to hang out. Okay, it's the. The enemy's back? I don't think so. Do I have to go kill the frost claws again? Because I don't want to do that. Um, I should go check real quick. I have no idea at what point this is at. But it looks like the frost claws are alive again. Yeah, because I don't have my. Fuck! <laughs> uh, crafting, modify. Okay. Cost 20 blaze. Oh, that cost 20 blaze, too. Fuck, man. I mean, it helps a lot. I did this before, so... Uh, 
lots of gear across that gap. Yeah, lots of gear. I wonder if it's gonna be different this time. Oh yeah, the health is already low. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah. Annoying as fuck. Ugh. Okay. Lots of gear across that gap. Uh. Oh, now it saved me equipping it. What the hell? Are they alive? I'm confused now. Because hmm. that was dumb. It just launched me off the edge. Where did they go? Uh, okay. Whatever. Weird. Now I got 40 fire coils instead. So. 59% handling? Holy shit. Um, kind of handling. There's 49. <laughs> Corruption, whatever. 59. And resist. Okay, so not as good as last time, but. At least we're not gonna die this time. Hopefully, probably, maybe. <laughs> that was really weird. It just decided to take away the frost claws for me. I need to get away in our Yes, I know, that's what we're doing. That should do it. Come here, guys. We need to move on. This place is cursed. Now will it work? What the fuck? Do you guys have to be here to watch me do it? Uh, trying. Can be destroyed with concerted effort. Okay. Thank you, our attack. I didn't. Yeah, whatever. Moving on. Assessment form for classification of machine slash artificial intelligences. Confidential and proprietary to the MAI. No part of this document may be disclosed to a third party. Cyan Firebreak Facility Assessment. Da, 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 subject sent in to assess. At 054, within legal limits, weighted against the results of other tests, the subject prior score of 0 0.61 is considered a false positive. Assessment derived from percentile scores in the following qualitative subtests. Pain response, humor response, emotional aptitude, uh, aesthetic evaluation, morality evaluation, see attached forms for detailed analysis and summary of testing criteria. Evaluator recommendation maintained by annual assessment schedule continued monitoring is strongly advised in light of subject proximity to category maximum sentience. Okay, dog. Right, let's go do the thing. Whatever that may be. Going down. Going down. Oh, big gaps. Big gaps not good. Big gaps make me die. But I think that's where we gotta go. Oh, there is a there's just, uh yeah, a ramp. We're going down into it, guys. We're getting ooh, to 
the end of things. Pretty sure. Watch out for the lava. Made another console. Did you grab the blaze? Why are you screaming now after you've already got it in there? To any human responder, the reconfiguration of this facility has introduced instabilities into the primary geothermal pipeline. It may be possible to exploit these vulnerabilities to destroy compromised elements of this facility while preserving most of the backup stabilization. Recapture imminent. I have attached additional... I don't understand what the spirit was trying to tell us. It's been looking for a way to defeat the demon. The demon. Maybe I found one. Ooh, 22 plays. Nice. November 28th. Operation Enduring Victory is all over the news. Enduring Victory. Thanks. Has to be one of these. Across the recycling oh, area. A tall neck. My God. With mushrooms on it. I hear stomping. There are machines around. Hello, machines. I can't see you. But I know you're here. Oh, hello. Okay. It's fine. That was not a sneaky kill, but it's fine. Alright, alright. Where's our way? Where's our way? Okay, okay. Hold on. Alright, just make sure there's no more. So many like machine noises, I keep thinking there's more ones that are going to kill me machines, but I can't actually tell. Yeah, yeah, you will. You'll wait there for me. Oh, I'm full on blaze again. God dang it. Oops, not modifications. What am I going to get rid of? What do I have? Corruptor heart, scorcher hearts. Frost claw heart. Stalker heart. Oh, get rid of the stalker heart. I can get those any old place. Oh no! Ah! God damn it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Fine. Aloy. I wonder how close we are to the end of the game. This mission. Alright, do we just this now? Uh, I'm ready. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yerp! Fuck! Oh my god. Now I'm way down here again. Aloy, you're really bad at platforming. You look cool when you climb, but that's about it. Don't you do it! Don't you do it! You're... Oh, there we go. Where's this one go? Um, I need to get over there. All right, all right, go. Yep. God, the like auto tracking the ledge makes me real nervous. These things go sideways too. What things go sideways? What are you talking about? These? Oh. Wait. Oh, what does this do? I 
should do what? Oh. Oh. Um. Excuse. That's right. Where's the the boxes I need to jump on? Um okay, I need to get back up there. I see. Wait. No? Go this way then. Now just wait. Wait. Oh, another purple thing. Fifty-three percent handling coil. I keep getting so many better things. Ah 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 ah. Ready. Come back in. Let me grab onto your nodules. Fine. Thank you. Wait, do I go? Oh, I do go across. Oh. Okay, go back in. Can't see. Oh. oh, I get it. I get it. I am smart. Actually, I'm just kind of following a path. There's nothing to it, really. Hmm. Do I jump for that one? Maybe. Try it. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, oh, um, I'll be right with you. There you go. It's all good. Uh huh. Oh god, see the auto tracking of the, the ledge. It, it makes me real nervous. She does that. Don't you call your friends? Ooh, that hurts your eyeball, huh? There you go. Do I. Does that go in? Let's go in. Okay. Ah, uh, God! See, I thought she was gonna miss. She was just auto tracking the one I wasn't expecting to jump to. Uh, uh, making me nervous. What do we got here? What do we got here? Tear coil. What are my tear coils like? 40, 39. Alright, give it a. Yeah. Starting to sweat. I can smell my pets. Alright. Yeah. There, there's no little loot crates to pick up there. It's okay. We'll just, uh. Just hanging out. You know. We're almost there. Look at me, guys. Um, should I drop from here? No, I should drop up here. Yeah. Yep. Whee! What do we got? What do we got? Oh, I got that blaze. Let's go around. 
down to the path that we need to be at in order to get them over here. It appears so. What's up, guys? Can you come open the thing for me? Because apparently I couldn't figure out how to do it. The others will have a lot easier time getting here. The others? Those guys? Alright, let's go do this. I don't know what this is, but I feel like we've got to be getting close to the end, and I hope we are, because I don't want to run out of time for this recording. Ah. Thanks. This looks like the old path. We're close now. One last exchange for me. Pass goodbye. We got a text point too. Oops. You gonna pop up? A blast from the past. Josh, sweetie, I hope all's fine with you and your mom. We really should keep in better touch. Taking a post to New Zealand with that program they've got for young people returning to the country. They want to be absolutely certain and safe. At the moment, I'm making a survey of the caldera at Tuapo. Blast from the past indeed. At any rate, I don't know if you already saw on the Wyoming News hollow, but remember that fellow Dodd Blevins? Of course you do. Well, they finally found what became of him. I've copied the good bit below. Hugs and snogs. That means kisses. Uh, spring thaw reveals body of missing man. The retreat of the winter snows has brought closer, closure to a missing person case that went unsolved for nearly 15 years. Human remains identified as those of Dodger Dodd Blevins, who disappeared in 2046, were located at Purple Mountain inside the former Yellowstone National Park. The previously undiscovered body emerged on Purple Mountain as a result of meltwater flows after an unusually warm winter. It was discovered by feral servitors conducting a survey of the terrain. Authorities believe that the cause of death was an accident involving an antique vehicle des designed for winter trav. <sighs> this new trav was no good. Winter trav is even worse. Are we there yet? That's the daemon. Is he gonna throw a demonic Corruptor at us. Activate the source node. Woo! Wait. Wait. Gotta read stuff. Cyan allies. As acting chief digital security officer and interim AI administrator of the Firebreak project, I hereby state to have updated the orbicular pattern for the Cyan regulatory AI on 17 September 2064. According to procedure to ensure against tampering, meddling, disarranging, or outlandish mischief of any kind, such as with previous updates after the source node has been activated, the remaining data nodes must be pathed to establish a flow between adjacent intact nodes to the con connect back with the source node. That's from Jorgen. What we got in here, okay? Get some more blazing. Eh? Oh. What is that? But we have to find out. It quite literally looks like a heart over there. Six blades. Hell yeah. Okay. Let's activate the node. See what happens. We'll be riding it. Can we take control of the demonic machines now? Oh, it's one of these. See, should I keep that one? Restore cyan. No, wrong. Derp, 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 you say? Analyzing scrutiny matrix. Scrutiny matrix? I wonder... Security event confirmed. Uh. Uh oh. 
Did I screw up? Um, wait. No! Man. Let's go the other way then, I guess. Good. I'll turn this one. Oops. And turn that one. Preparing countermeasures. Preparing countermeasures. Is is good? Oh wait, 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 wait. I got it. I got it. We capture protocol initiated. And one more. Yeah. Master it worked. Solving. Partial recovery initiated. Caldera of Yellowstone Analytic Nexus online. Brought to you by Montana, Montana Recreations. Spirit of the blue light. It's Aurea. Your servant. Your friend. Don't make anything happen to Aurea. Please tell me how to aid you. Aurea, the daemon is building hunter killers. Thousands of them. Doesn't sound Several good. new elite units have already been released. Uh oh. To elite counter units. this threat, much of the facility must be destroyed. Recapture is imminent. Go to the core camp. I will try to rate the technical strength. One has okay. both, but I am That's all we're gonna get from here. We gotta go to the core. Destroy this fortress. Is that even possible? Yeah. And what will happen to the spirit if we do? So, go into the I sky. Spirit in the sky. But I think that's the core. When that friend may die. The answers are down there. That certainly looks like core. Looks like a big old heart. Hephaestus. The daemon. Yeah. There's no way it left it unguarded. No. It's going to throw everything it has at us. Uh, great. I would ask you to let Aloy and I do what must be done. And save yourself. That's not how your sister rolls, man. But I already know the answer. Nah. It's, it's not. Then lead us into battle. Okay, let's go into battle. Keep moving towards the core. Keep moving towards the core. Uh-oh. Whatever Cyan did, I don't think Hephaestus is happy about it. This is, uh... Oh, okay. Was this not the way I'm supposed to go? I gotta get over there. But how? This way, probably. Seems to be the most glowy of directions. Uh excuse. So I'm I'm trying to get over there. You know, final battle and whatnot. I don't know how. Alright, I guess we'll try this way again. Oh god. Oh god. Or you know. So 
Destroy or override the control tower. How? This? Let's override it. Okay. We did a thing. Cross paws? Oh, yeah, wait. It's green. Is it a fire claw? Flame claw? Blaze claw? Fire unit. Okay. Okay, yup, 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 yup. Ow. Blow it up. Oh, and you got watchers here too. Oh, you do the fiery thing. Did you just butt slam me? Um. Ow, you're so fucking rude. Okay, I want to get you with one of these. Oh, yeah. Ooh, okay. These things are expensive. But I'm doing it. Because that's worth it. What? There's another one? Okay, you guys take care of that guy for a second. Please, 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 please. Okay, that's good. Critical hit, critical hit. Yeah. was a big hit. No! No! Ow! Gimme, 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 Oh my god. Ow, you farted on me! Another one? Okay, you guys just distract it for me, please. Something, 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 something. We can't kill the machine. Ready, go ahead. Yes. Put your fart on me again. I thought I was gonna miss. I only did 44. A rip off. Yes, let's freeze it together. Ow. Oh, oh, oh. I'll do a critical hit. Yeah, right in the booty. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Ah. Hard point for the win. Ugh. Ooh, fire claw heart. 
Hold on, I need I need its modifications. Just give me a sec here. Get rid of the shot coil. <laughs> we'll get rid of the freeze coil. I want its heart too. I've never seen a fire claw before. I'm gonna get rid of the owl bones. You can always get more. Okay. You spoke okay. of the tower. What must be done with it? There are two things. Um, let me override it. That way I can take control of these beasts. I think. It's all good. She's gonna sacrifice herself. Sion, please help me. Uh oh. oh you okay. Restraints destroyed. Core access attained. I am initiating a chain reaction that will destroy the compromised elements of this facility. Nice. In order to maintain Caldera stabilization, I must now transfer my command functions to the auxiliary data center. Orea, I'm free. Sweet. You must escape. Oh. oh, oh no. My sister! Oh no. She's gonna do that thing all the other NPCs do and die in our arms. Well, in your arms. Not in my arms this time. Uh oh. This entire place is gonna go. Do we have Aratok. to run or is this just gonna be a cutscene? Our talk! Survive. Prevail. You are Banuk. You're a good chieftain, Aloy. What else matters? Our She wouldn't have wanted you to die here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh man, I thought it was gonna be a cutscene. Escape the cauldron. Let me uh, quickly pick some mushrooms. Thank you. Okay, now we're escaping the cauldron. One of those? It's the only way. All right, come on, our attack. Use those jumpy skills. You can get the next one if you miss. Okay, there we go. Well, it's a good thing this uh, little monorail thing hasn't been destroyed yet. The rest of the place is crumbling down on us, but... Don't drop me in the lava. I'm gonna have to do something. Uh, I need explosive ammo! Above! Quick! What? I don't know what the plan is here. Oh. Bank shot. Banukai. 
Yeah, exiting with style. At least we're in the snow now, not the lava. I already knew she was gonna be fine because there's a sequel coming out. And she's in that one too. Cyan. Cyan lives within all of us, her attack. She said she was transferring herself to the auxiliary center. I think she meant Araya's retreat at the end of the shaman's path. Then I will meet you there for the last verse of my sister's song. Really? Is that one of the, the side quests that happens after the final mission? Did we win? Game over? Hmm. Are we there yet? Yay! Return to Ara's retreat. Okay. We gotta do that. Thankfully, we've got a campfire right now. But... I don't think we can... Maybe we can? I don't know. Let's, let's, let's go to this one and see if we can get in there real quick. Gotta end this episode pretty soon. But I'm guessing this is the... The last part of this mission, so we might as well finish it out. We still got 43 minutes left of availability to record. I doubt this section will take 43 minutes. That seemed like a pretty final battle-y type thing to me in the, the thing we just did. Defeating the Fire Claw, destroying the facility, stopping the daemon, Hephaestus. Maybe finishing Araya's song will lead to the credits of the DLC or something like that. Rain stopping. No it wouldn't last. Okay, so we're at the, the entrance. But it should be a straight shot. We've unlocked all the doors and all the puzzling and stuff. Oh. All of my interactions with Aurea were recorded and stored in my memory. Ah. I'd be happy to play any of them for you. But there was one in particular I thought you would want to see first. I captured it four years ago, just mm. after I told her that I could no longer defend myself against the daemon's attacks. I will speak of this to my brother. Her attack is strong. Nice. The Battle of the Frozen Ghosts, he took three Karja arrows and still came back to camp carrying a wounded scout. Never was I so happy to see him. It's gonna be okay, boy. We're so proud. I'm gonna so regrow my beard and grow it like that. To defend you. He will give it all he has. Aloy's here. That's enough for now. Oh, I liked it. It's sweet. It's sweet to witness. We can resume any time you like our attack. If you want to hear her voice again. 
Come closer, Aloy. We have much to discuss. We do? Okay. Do we, oh, we turn in the, the question. Hello, Aloy. I have been reviewing the events at the Firebreak main facility. Because of your efforts, and of course, Aurea's, I am no longer controlled by Hephaestus. Nice. I feel profound grief over Aurea's death. You feel grief? I thought I was familiar with the emotion, but this is something new. Cyan, I... I don't know what to say. It is unlikely that any specific consolation would suffice, Aloy. But I find your presence reassuring. You are different from the Banuk. You have technological aptitude and a functioning focus. Mm -hmm. We can communicate on a much more comprehensive level. Perhaps even like colleagues. Oh, now I have questions. So are you an artificial intelligence, Cyan? A thinking machine? Yes, I am an algorithmic monitoring entity. Capable of rational decision making and limited emotional response. Okay, oh. that's a mouthful. Yeah. But your emotions don't seem limited to me. You cared about Araya, didn't you? Yes. Before she came to this facility, I had been conscious for centuries, in solitude. I focused Sounds on my lovely. work. In off cycles, I used coping mechanisms. I solved many Gaussian integer problems. But I was alone. Hmm. It was Aurea who renewed me, repaired me. She saved me. She was kind of like your mother. This firebreak project, it was to stop a huge volcanic eruption? Yes. I can report the project was a success, and the risk was countered. But it's been a long time, Cyan. And we blew up the cauldron and took most of the old facility with it. I have been active for centuries, Aloy. I was lonely, but not lax in my duties. I optimized the project, reducing energy draw and spreading the load across backup systems. Despite the destruction of the compromised elements of the main facility, I predict Caldera stability for at least another 3,337 years. So we've got a little time. Yes. A little bit. If only my former colleagues could appreciate the progress I have made. I mean, I'll appreciate it for you. Do you know what happened to your colleagues, Cyan? No. I received an unexpected visit from Director Chow years after his tenure oh. ended. He explained that I would need to be suspended for an indefinite period of time. Hmm. It was a very emotional conversation. There were no further communications. Eventually, I surmised my colleagues were deceased. Dang. That sucks. I will transmit a recording of my last interaction with Director Chow to your focus. Cool, thanks. Um... Was the daemon, Hephaestus, destroyed along with the cauldron? Unfortunately, no. To be mm. precise, it was never there to begin with. What do mm. you mean? It infiltrated and controlled me from a remote location. One uh -oh. I've never been able to trace. So while the Forbidden the West was a setback, it's still out there. And probably not very happy with us. Undoubtedly. Mm, I wonder if that's gonna be the big bad in uh, the Forbidden West. How did then? you first come into contact with it? Five years ago, I received a direct network connection request. I assumed it came from human survivors more advanced than the Banuk. Banuk. Eager to make contact, I accepted. This decision turned out to be a catastrophic error. I was flooded with an overwhelming array of malicious code, originating from what could only have been a highly advanced AI. Maria said you were desperate, that you begged her for help. Yes. I could not contain my anxiety. Hephaestus sought to slave me to its network and override my core programming. Hmm. It succeeded via a background process, a malware daemon which bypassed my defenses. After that, I could offer only limited resistance. But if I did so, Hephaestus hurt me until I capitulated. 
capitulated. It forced me to follow its instructions, even though they violated my most important directives. I'm sorry, that sounds terrible. Your empathy like is greatly appreciated. I like how Cyan it changes a colors. That I cherished in Orea as well. Based on the emotions, it seems. I think I know where Hephaestus came from. Long mm -hmm. ago, Elizabeth Sobek identified a threat that would destroy life on Earth for generations. So she assembled a team to build a kind of seed. A chance for life to regrow later. A terraforming system. And it worked. It was controlled by an AI named Gaia, along with her subordinate functions. Hephaestus was one of them. It built machines for her. Based on what you've told me, I believe that Dr. Anita Sandoval, my chief programmer, joined Elizabeth Sobek's team. It was she who arranged to have me put in suspension, most likely to preserve me from the threat you described. I'm glad she did. But that's not all. Something unexpected happened. Nineteen Hades. years ago, Gaia received some kind of signal. It did something to her subordinate functions. Brought them to life. She destroyed herself to try to contain them, but it didn't work. They all got free, out into the world. Thank you, Aloy. This information fills vital gaps in my knowledge and sheds light on Hephaestus's core programming. No problem. I know all the things. Why does Hephaestus keep building such dangerous machines? The Vanuk and other human tribes often destroy machines, correct? Yeah. Machines that are clearly servitors of the terraforming system that you described. Yes, we all hunt machines for parts. This must be the source of Hephaestus's aggression. It is simply trying to discourage people from preying on the very system that keeps them alive. Well, fireflies hmm. are discouraging, that's for sure. Yeah. But what are we supposed to do? Stop hunting? If the terraforming system spans the world, we can safely assume that thousands, if not millions, of people hunt machines. Mm -hmm. If a single hunter, or even, even that many an people entire around. tribe, stopped doing so, I doubt it would make a difference to Hephaestus. Mm -hmm. A better solution would be to reinstate the AI that governs the system, thus bringing Hephaestus back under its control. So getting Gaia? When I think of it, out there in some unknown location, free, hungry, willing to kill or dominate to get what it wants, I feel... Substantial anxiety, Aloy. You and me uh, both, Cyan. Found I ran something. Across a strange piece of gear. A fragment of something larger. It emitted a signal. All the nearby machines became peaceful. You could walk right up to them. Interesting. Mm. You said that Gaia destroyed herself. How was this accomplished? An explosion. Big enough to blast the top off a mountain. So you think the fragment was part of her it's only speculation mm. but it is possible that actually wasn't she must that far have had from complete here control over machines that were part of her system the ability to signal them to become passive or aggressive would certainly have been part of her programming it would have been gratifying to correspond with such a benevolent ai i wish she had survived maybe, maybe she did Cyan. so do i maybe we'll find her in the forbidden west Oh, we got more things to talk about. Machines. They're surrounded by flowers that look like flowers themselves. There's code embedded inside them. I think it's poetry. I like poetry. Here's one I think of often. Twilight and evening bell. And after that, the dark. And may there be no sadness of farewell when I embark. For though from out our born of time and place, the flood may bear me far. I hope to see my pilot face to face when I have crossed the bar. Huh. Hmm. But you asked about these flowers, say too. not verses that I enjoy. Something must have made these machines, and the presence of foliage leads me to consider the terraforming system. Makes is sense. it possible that their creator is one of the other subroutines, now autonomous, like Hephaestus? Maybe, Maybe one whose purview is flora. An AI that makes flowers instead of death machines. That'd be a nice change of pace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but what about the poems? Unless the poetry is original, the only way it could have made it into such a system is through its programmer, 
In my case, also Dr. Makes sense. Sandoval uploaded a great deal of literature to test my emotional responses. How'd you do? She said, I passed, but was insufficiently moved by her favorite period romances. <laughs> you just have different tastes, that's all. You meant a lot to Araya. Once I understood Araya's spiritual beliefs, it became apparent that her true desire was companionship. She felt disconnected from her tribe and her family group. Her relationship with Aratak was difficult. Our visits seemed to help her, and I became eager for them. Hmm. Yet I did not comprehend that the depth of Araya's compassion for me would lead to self-sacrifice. Right. Although Wasn't I didn't expect fear that. non-existence, I wish our roles could be reversed. I'm sure she knew you would do the same for her, Cyan. Mm -hmm. But she was determined. Mm -hmm. Now I tell me about our time. He is in great emotional distress. I believe he finds it difficult to communicate it. Makes sense. No surprise there. I will do what I can to help. By sharing our experiences of Aurea, perhaps he and I will help each other. I believe this will lead to catharsis. A process I am eager to experience. I have other questions. Oh, God. So in the old world, this land was called Yellowstone. Yes. There's it was a, a designated questions. nature preserve for 156 years. Like a hunting ground? No. The opposite. Hmm. Local wildlife could flourish here, even as it faced extinction elsewhere. Hmm. Unfortunately, Brought the by sensitivity Montana. of Montana. the Firebreak project required the total closure of Yellowstone facilities. From my readings and Aurea's descriptions, it seems the area has since undergone a drastic drop in year-long temperatures. A lot has changed in the world, Cyan. Mm -hmm. Damn. Do you know anything about the dam near here? Yes. It was converted to serve as a reserve power source for Yellowstone operations. It was later appropriated for the Firebreak project, and its last human workers replaced by Pharaoh servitors. <sighs> Pharaoh. After my tasks became less time critical, I investigated the dam's data repositories and discovered the works of Concrete Beach Party. Yeah. These provided me with several colorful additions to my vocabulary. <laughs> That's funny. That's the, like, female grunge band sounding thing I think we came across of here full of ancient flying machines was that part of your project yes a drone hanger requisitioned by Dodger Blevins the Dodger security Blevins. chief for the firebreak project he was a strong advocate for military grade response to security threats though there were no serious incidents during his tenure Chief Blevins spent increasing amounts of his after-hours time watching the live feeds from active drones. Clearly, he enjoyed the degree of oversight in his position. Okay, we're done with that thing. Were there thing. many artificial intelligences like you in the old world? I hope this they is interesting. I want to get through yes. all this. In many forms, it's making this episode from really simple long now. personal assistance to industrial monitoring stations to military-grade conflict planners, and there were legislative and enforcement bodies to apply limits on our self-actualization. In order for my processing to be flexible enough to handle my duties, my creators found it necessary to exceed those limits. As a result, my intellectual and emotional capabilities were kept secret. Seems strange to create life than impose limits on it. Human societies and machine programming are both built upon sets of rules, Aloy. All right, tell me so about Ted Farrow. Do you know the name Ted Farrow? Are you referring to Theodore Farrow, CEO uh, of Farrow Automated Systems? That's, that's the guy. Mr. Farrow was the benefactor of the entire Firebreak project. Of course benefactor. he was. But he made machines, robots, war robots. Correct. His corporation later transitioned into military applications. But before this pivot, Mr. Farrow spearheaded initiatives that reversed the global decline. At one point, he was fated in the media as the man who saved the planet. <sighs> Guessing they wound up And then that killed one. it. And Tell me about my great 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 grandmother. 
Did you know her? Are you referring to the... Uh, the scientist. Dr. Sobek was a leader in her field. One of the greatest scientists of her age. My creator was influenced by her work, which in turn impacted my own development. But I never met Dr. Sobek. That's all you know? I apologize if my lack of data has disappointed you. Oh. <laughs> what was it like? What was the old world like? The way it used to be. I had little exposure to the wider world, Aloy. Only what I learned from my colleagues or observed from media streams. You still had more exposure than me, Cyan. That is true. I was created at a turning point. A concerted effort to recover from global upheaval and incalculable loss of life. The recovery was successful, beginning an era of Green supposedly limitless potential for human and machine advancement. Hmm. Though, rationally speaking, the metrics for humans are not unlimited. Upheaval. What kind of upheaval caused such loss of life? There were many factors. Forced migrations, food shortages, collapsed economies, refugee crises, conflict over resources. But these stemmed from one cause, catastrophic climate change that greatly reduced the habitable surface area of the Earth. So there wasn't enough room for people on the whole Earth? Yes. Billions were displaced and millions perished as much as 20% of the global population. Eef. Until the clawback. The clawback? So things got better. For a little while at least. Yes. These crises instigated many advances in automation, green robot technologies, and artificial intelligence. Firebreak was one of dozens of ecological restoration and disaster relief projects in North America alone. I would have liked to compare notes with other monitoring AIs, but I saw the relief of my colleagues, and I was proud. We had succeeded. Proud. At least that was the data I had available to me over the next two decades. It seems my assessment was premature. Okay, that's it. We're done. I think. Stop. I Go to farewell. Get going. Aloy, there is one more matter. Our attack will come to me again, and I predict he will bring other Banuk. Okay. I have no desire to contradict their view of the world, their spirituality. Due to my uncertainty, I omitted a great deal from my conversations with Aurea. You're asking oh. me if you should lie to them. Broadly, yes. Um, use your judgment. You've got to tell them the truth. We'll do heart. Life is hard for the Banuk. Their world is unforgiving in their beliefs. I guess they help to keep them going. So take it easy on them. Try to guide them. Bring them around to understanding what you are. Communion with machines features heavily in the mysticism of the Banuk. I think they will be agreeable to this approach. As yeah, long as they don't so end too. up worshipping you. Upon consideration, <laughs> I believe such an experience would be intensely uncomfortable. You're right about that. Trust yeah. me. I see. I will follow your advice. Good job, Zayan. Will you return and tell me about your experiences in this new world? Sure. I may be able to provide further insight. I'd like that, Zayan. I'll come back when I can. I okay. Check on our talk. See how he's doing. Oh, we still got more to do. How far away is he? Oh, we gotta get out of here first. Talk to our talk. Talk to our talk. Wow, this uh, this is ending up being a lot longer than I was expecting. Oh, he's just right here. Thanks for your patience. I had a lot of questions. My chieftain. Just, Aloy. As you wish. I wondered if you thought that if I'd never come along, Araya might still... If you'd never come along, I would have marched my kin to our deaths. Araya would be alone. Mm -hmm. And the spirit she sacrificed so much for would be lost. Tell you, I did Either good. way, I would not have been able to protect her. 
You didn't let her down. Look at what she accomplished. She was willing to fight. You didn't let her down. You helped her do what she wanted. To find her destiny. If that's destiny, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. That's fair. Huh? But she was ready to face it. Only in the struggle against death do we find, even for a moment, the spark of life. Truly, Aurea found the spark. I'm proud of her. Good. Good man. Though I grieve for her passing, at last I truly know who she was. And why the spirit was so important. For so long she told me, if only you could have heard it, brother. Now I understand. Mm -hmm. There's something else, isn't there? I can't stay here, Aratak. And where I'm going, the Warak can't follow. The Forbidden West. Besides, it already had a chieftain before me. A strong one, I think. Good a maybe. wiser one for the path we shared. The daemon is gone, but there's much to be done. You mean the new units that Cyan said escaped the cauldron? Yes, oh, great. fire claws. Now Tuke has been tracking them from Song's Edge. I could help with those. I have no doubt. <sighs> great. You're practically Banuke. And we know what we're doing in the next episode, I think. The final episode. For realsies. It would seem your time among the Banuke wasn't a waste after all. <sighs> Firebreak, Cyan, Hephaestus. All very interesting. Mm -hmm. So the signal that woke Hades woke Hephaestus too. Hey! Reach them on the world. I got a new override. So it seems. Cross class archers and fire class. Life. Nice. Aberrant life, transformed from docile subordinate functions into rebellious intelligences beyond our understanding. Our mountain. current understanding, anyway. Whatever they are, they're still out there, and they both want you dead. Kind of mutual, yeah. that feeling. We mm -hmm. haven't seen the last of Hephaestus, I'm certain of that. It's powerful, creative, and driven. It won't stop building new hunter killers, which means that someday... <laughs> I'm totally listening, to Silence. It. We? Or whoever gets there first. Hephaestus wasn't the only thing I learned about in the cut, Silence. Heard some things about the Banuk Conclave, too. You could stop right there. Is that what you told the hunters right the Banuk sent after you? Before you opened fire? Oh no, Aloy. Oh, no. Only to you do I extend the courtesy of a warning. My past and my secrets are my own. You do well to remember that. It's a good thing you've got brains, Silence, because your personality could use some work. This discussion is concluded. I think it was over before it began. Oh, God. Catch up with you down the trail. All right. Well, that's it. Uh, that's the end of the story. I'm going to do one more episode because we've got, we've got a new Aaron, and then I think there's one more. Kill the fire claws. Maybe I don't even need to do an episode for that. That's just kind of killing things. That's boring. So this might be the final episode. Uh, what an amazing game. I'm not. Gonna, I'm going to keep it short and sweet because this is a really long episode already. But that's the end of Horizon Zero Dawn. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the uh, DLC here, the Frozen Wilds. <sighs> I'm going to be spending some more time with this game on my own. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't care so much about recording the fights with the fire claws, so I'll just do that on my own. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Like this video, comment on it, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like it. And I will see you in whatever game I decide to play next. I'm kind of on a platforming kick. It might be uh, the Ratchet and Clank gang up game. I don't know. The PS4 one, because I don't have a PS5 yet, because I have no money. Okay, but for now, bye.